When you look at a spreadsheet, you immediately notice the columns and the rows, and there are lots of them. But at the bottom here, you'll also notice that there are sheets. And each sheet is its own little container. So for example, if I clicked on that one, it's got various information. So in cell B3, it says input data. But here, the one that says wrong sheet name has got a different look and feel. So these are areas where you can store perhaps like-minded um, details, costs, etc. When you open a spreadsheet, they won't be automatically named. It'll say sheet 1, 2, 3, 4. If you need to change anything to do with a sheet, it's as simple as right-clicking. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of options that are open to you. So for example, if there aren't enough sheets, I can go here and there's an insert option. So notice I've got the formula bar and wrong sheet name. When I click insert, first it asks me what I want to insert and there's a whole bunch of options. But we're just going to say one worksheet. And you'll see now, Excel doesn't know what you want to call it, so it just finds a unique name to you. So this is sheet 7 and at the moment it's placed it between these two sheets. If I go here and I right click, you'll see there's a whole bunch of other options. So you'll see there's a delete option. So we've realized we've made a mistake. So I'm going to go to sheet 7, right click on it. And when I say delete, it deletes it. If we right click again, you can see you can rename it. If I wanted to, I can either do it that way. So right click rename and you'll see it's ready for me to input. Or if I double click on it, I can then highlight the section and perhaps type correct name. When I enter, that is now what it will be called. Just right clicking again, you'll see there's an option to move or copy. So let's say this is now in the wrong place. So there's two ways we can move it. I can do the purely visual way, so I can click and hold my mouse. And when I move, can you see that it's telling me it's holding onto that sheet? And there's a little arrow there. And as I move, can you see the arrow jumps around? So that's telling me where it's going to end up. So if I let go here, can you see it moves around there? I'm going to click and hold and bring it back and put it over there. So that's one way, visual way, very useful. I can as well right click and you'll see there's an option here to move or copy. So when I click on it, if I want to move it, and let's say it's just too far, I need to go 30 sheets to the right, sometimes it's easier then to use this. And you can scroll down and you can tell it that this sheet you want to move before sheet called maybe data sorting. So if I did that, this would then move all the way there. I'm just going to cancel it. What happens if we want to create a copy of the sheet? So we want an exact copy of the sheet. We want to reuse it perhaps as a template. Again, the best way is you right click. You're going to say move or copy. So it's exactly the same. But in order to create a copy, you just need to click that button. So you're going to say create a copy. Where do we want to put it? So by default, Excel's gone and said I'm going to put it right at the beginning. But we're going to say no, no. I want it to appear just after this correct name, so I'm going to put on copy paste. When I say OK, you'll see it creates an exact copy. So notice when I click on them, they're exactly the same. The only difference here is Excel cannot have two sheets with exactly the same name. So it has gone and put a two afterwards to make it a little bit unique. I'm just going to right click and we'll delete that one. Just moving further down, once you get into VBA, you can view the code. On it, In other courses, you'll learn how to protect the sheets. But notice as well, you can change the color of these tabs. So this is quite useful if you want to change the look and feel and maybe indicate to yourself or the user what's important. So for example, if this is a very important sheet and I need it in red, I'll click on that and you'll see it turns red. If I right click, Notice you have the ability to hide and unhide sheets. Just be very careful about that. Hide does exactly what it says. Even though it's part of the spreadsheet, you don't see it. So let me click hide. Notice it seems to have disappeared. 
I need to right click on any other sheet and click unhide and you'll see here there's my one called correct name I'm going to say OK and you'll see it comes back the last thing is an option to select all sheets this will be covered in um, the intermediate course so that's quite useful you can put almost an unlimited number of sheets in here but it is quite difficult then to track them down and that's why on the far left here you've got two little arrows now in previous versions of Excel you actually had four items so you've got a left arrow and then you had a, a double left arrow in this version 2016 it's slightly different so just to explain what these arrows do if I click on them notice the sheets move to the right if I click on the left they move to the left if I want to move right to the end quickly without manually going all the way what I can do is I hover and it tells you there control right click see all sheets so if I say control sorry control left click notice it jumped all the way to the end control left all the way to this end so if you want to jump far you can do that if you want to see all these so this um, horizontal view is okay but a little bit difficult to read maybe you want to see it vertically I can right click on those arrows and you'll see it now shows us all the sheets in the spreadsheet but it shows it to us in downward vertical fashion which sometimes we find is a little bit easier to read and maybe that's the one we want to go to and I click OK you'll see it takes us to that one